So you want to take a time lapse, but you're not really sure how to set up an intervalometer. In today's tips and techniques video, I will show you how to do just that. Okay everyone, use the intervalometer beacon quite easy. But let's first start going over the layout of the display. We have our display, it has delay, long, intervalometer, and number. Okay, delay tells the intervalometer how long to uh, operate before it actually starts working. So this can basically tell your intervalometer to sit around and wait for a fixed amount of time before it actually starts, you know, taking photos. So you can easily set this up anywhere from one second up to many hours. Long is actually used for the shutter button. This tells the intervalometer how long to hold the shutter button down while taking a photo. This is often used in bulb mode. Okay, intervals. This is the time between each photo that you want the intervalometer to take. So for example, this one is currently has one second, which is the minimum time before it can take another photo. But this can be set up to also have many hours. So you can set this one up to take, say, a photo once every 24 hours, or once every second, or any other time in between. Then you have number. Number is how many photos you know, do you want it to take? This particular one by Optica here, you can go from one to 399. You know, most intervalometers can actually do more than this. So this is actually a poor short for this one, but that's just the way this one you know, actually is set up. Okay. This one also has a lamp button and a start and stop button or start and pause. So if you set this one up, after you get everything set in, you simply just press the start button and it will take your photo. We then have a option knob here, which is used to navigate around and change our settings. In addition, we have a shutter button down here. This shutter button can be used, you can press it and you'll see the timer will actually tell you how long the shutter has been used. This is also very practical and be used often in bulb mode. So, as you can see, setting up intervalometer is quite easy. Let's take one second between these shots and let's take five shots. And once that is set, all we have to do is hit the start button. And as you can see, if we had a camera set up, it would have took a, uh, five photos each one second apart. So using an intervalometer is very easy. And I hope this helps you you'll get a little bit closer to taking your very own time lapse. Okay, everyone. I hope you found this video helpful and stuff. I hope that helps you learn how to set up an intervalometer to get you on your way to uh, taking your very own time lapse videos. And if you liked this video, you found it helpful, you know, do me a favor now, you know, drop down and hit the like button down the bottom. But most of all, if you haven't subscribed it, you know, take the time to subscribe. It's free. It's for you. To let you know when you know, release more videos that, you know, helpful tutorials, to touching tutorials, and so much more that I do on this channel, you know, to help photographers and videographers out there alike. So, until next time, everyone, and thank you for watching.